Well, we've had a lot of fire news this week, as you saw at the beginning of this newscast, and you may have seen one or two air tankers flying in to provide some much needed relief in these dangerous situations. CARBC's Noah McKinney spoke with Don Green of the Abilene Airport for an update on the expansion of their air tanker base operations. When it comes to fighting a raging wildfire, a little help from above goes a long way, and that help most often flies right out of Abilene, Texas courtesy of the Texas A&M Forest Service Tanker Base. They really like operating out of Abilene. They have uh, great proximity to a lot of the region, a lot of the state from here. And Abilene Airport Director of Transportation Services, Don Green, says expanding that reach has been a goal of theirs for some time. We approached uh, Representative Lambert about a, about a year ago. State Rep Stan Lambert working to get that legislation to the governor's desk. We've achieved what we set out to achieve at the beginning of this session, and that was to make sure that the funding was going to be available. 20 million in state funds secured for the construction of a new ramp area for the tanker base. This new ramp will give them the ability to bark aircraft without having them spread out all over the airfield like they like we do right now. As you can tell, they keep it pretty loud and they move pretty fast. This tanker just came in from Eastland County and not just a few seconds after they touched down, they had new orders heading out to Coleman County to fight a fire over there. It's a really quick turnaround for these pilots, but the crew here makes sure they get fueled up and back in the air as quickly as they need to be. Whenever you're fighting fires, every split second makes a difference. This will consolidate their operations considerably and make it a lot more convenient. The state's 20 million to be joined by the city's 2.2 million to fully fund this project. Each step another in bolstering Abilene's status as a vital part of fire response for the state and surrounding areas. It's great to be to that point, being able to implement this and Representative Lambert and his staff uh, have been instrumental. I mean, this would not have happened without their work on this. For BigCountryHomePage.com I'm Noah McKinney. Thank you, Noah. The Abilene Airport is currently taking bids for a project engineer. Though the design process cannot begin until the state's fiscal year does on September 1st. This is just one step in establishing Abilene as a permanent air tanker base, providing fire relief to all parts of the state.